Mr. Ciao. Mr. Ciao. Mr. Ciao. Mr. Ciao believes. Mr. Ciao believes. It does. Mr. Ciao, guys. This is the match. The three points that we brought home is because of Mr. Ciao. Mr. Chow, there is nothing else that we can talk about it because honestly, without those two tackles, there was one point and probably, to be very honest with you, it was a fair result, the draw, uh, because we never been in control in the match against Verona. Never, never, never. I never, I, we, felt, we, we played a terrible match. It was a terrible match. Uh, but without that tackle of uh, Malik Tio, Man, we, we, we were not here celebrating another victory, another step closer to the second star that we believe we can get this year. So I'm very happy because you have to imagine something. Imagine like you're from, he was from Schalke, from Schalke in Germany. And he's like 20, 20, 20 years old from Germany. And he's like, first time finally arriving, uh, you know, in Serie A, Paolo Maldini has been picking you up. So he want you, he want, you in your t in his team to play you know probably his parents know who is it he probably saw the poster on the picture he always heard about paolo maldini best defender in the history and eventually he he picked him up he say you're gonna be a fantastic central defender and then they brought it to milan mr pioli pa padre pioli believed in him but he is also know that it was not the right time to let him play so he let it grind let it grind let it grind grind work hard work hard work hard sweat 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 eventually we arrive after after a, a terrible after a terrible defeat against chelsea but i want to talk about that later and um, it's a, it's a hard match because playing Verona is never an easy. It's humidity. It's it's kill. It's killing you. Uh, it's cold. It's raining. It's uh, the stadium. The the pinch itself. It's terrible. Uh, after one zero, the 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 Verona is actually playing better. So there is a chance that they actually we are not gonna get the three points. Eventually, with our best player, we got the we are getting closer to get to to have the three points with the Sandro Tonali goal. We're very close and what's going to happen now we have minus 83 there are another 10 minutes of suffering what are you gonna do boom mastro pioli remove the best ac milan player which is called rafa leao and you have to go in and he say now you do your job now you do exactly what paolo maldini picked you up a month ago to do defend and you got and that's 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 the that's a business card. That's a business card, guys. This is the your presentation to us, old heart Rossoneris, supporter of Milan from all over the world. We were sweating. We were feeling this match. It was nervous. We were like, okay, now Verona is gonna score. We have that feeling. No, Mister Chow. No, no for Mister Chow. For Mister Chow was a no. For Mister Chow was a no. For Mr. Chao, he did uh, two incredible tackles, uh, and what else can we say, guys? It, it it was really, really good, especially the first one. When Tatarozano, you know that ball is not gonna get that ball. Uh, he did an incredible closure, I think, on the right of Tatarozano, and the uh, after a few minutes, he did it on the left, on the left post. Incredible! Really, 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 really happy for Chao. Uh, we have a great future now. Let's put Chao aside. Let's talk about generally about the match. The match, guys, was hard. As I mentioned, we never been completely in we never been in control of the match. We never been in control of the match. We were from um, a defeat, a burning defeat uh, against Chelsea in Champions League against the Premier League that ran really, really, really fast. And after twenty minutes, we were already. 10 against 11 so we had to play for 11 but we were in 10 so i guess the team was exhausted the team was exhausted also because saturday they play against juventus and the weekend before they play against against uh, against chelsea and then before we play against empoli scored in the last minute so it wasn't easy at all that's what i will say uh, we were not in control. Verona played really well. Uh, they got the entire week to prepare the match. As soon as they changed the manager, they found a new energy. And after our first goal, they start playing really well. Uh, they were in control of the match. Our midfield was terrible today, let's be honest. Um, Adli, I think it's, it's not ready yet, but it's good that he start playing because he need to put a little bit more of minutes in his legs. Um, and Benassere, we were was needed, was needed, was needed. And that's why I think after in the second half with Padre Pioli, incredible, he did a couple of adjust, uh, adjusted a couple of things, Origi, incredible, Rebic as well. 
and um, I think that we, my lights just went off. And I think we did what we had to do, honestly. I think it was uh, eventually with the, with the, th probably the, the, th the best, three of our best players, uh, which is Sandro Tonali, Ante Rebic and Rafa Leal. Thanks to these three, especially from Rafa Leal in the beginning, one touch to Rebic, one touch to Sandro Tonali that scored immediately. We eventually brought home the three points. But once again, once again, Malik Chao did an incredible thing. And we old hard scenario, we are super happy to see a new incredible defender. I mean, like, wow. So let me know what do you think down below. Today is a short video. I'm still traveling in Panama. I will be back in the during the week in Barcelona home. And uh, yeah, that's all for the moment, guys. Let me know what do you think and I'll see you later. Ciao.